क्वेश्चन स्टेट दैट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंडीशन विल नॉट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट इन इंक्रीजिंग द यूरिन आउटपुट ए रिलीज ऑफ एट्रियल नेट्री यूरेटिक पैप्टाइड ए एन एफ इज रिलीज इन रिस्पॉन्स टू हाई ब्लड प्रेशर एंड इट्स फंक्शन इज टू डिक्रीज ब्लड प्रेशर एंड ए एन एफ डिक्रीजेस ब्लड प्रेशर बाई वेसोडाइलेशन एंड नेट्री यूरेस नेट्री यूरेस दैट इज एक्सक्रीशन ऑफ मोर सोडियम इन यूरिन so when more sodium passes out in urine more water passes out in urine so release of atrial natriuretic peptide will contribute in increasing the urine output so this cannot be our answer b reabsorption of sodium ions and water from the distal parts of the tubule in presence of aldosterone this will decrease the urine output release of adh that facilitate water reabsorption from the later parts of the tubule this also decrease the urine output so b and c will contribute in decreasing the urine output while a will contribute in increasing the urine output so correct answer to this question is option number 2 only b and c proceeding to the next question the second meiotic division is unequal and results in the formation of let's understand about oogenesis during oogenesis oogonia which is diploid grows to form primary oocyte primary oocyte is also diploid primary oocyte undergoes meiosis 1 to form secondary oocyte and first polar body secondary oocyte undergoes meiosis 2 to form ooted that is mature ovum and second polar body now come to the options option a first polar body and the diploid ovum this is incorrect second option second polar body and a haploid ovum second meiotic division is unequal and results in the formation of second polar body and haploid ovum so correct answer is b c option second polar body and the diploid ovum ovum is haploid so this cannot be a correct answer d first polar body and haploid ovum this is also incorrect so correct answer to this question is option number 2 second meiotic division results in the formation of second polar body and the haploid ovum and this haploid ovum is known as ooted proceeding to the next question question states that match column 1 with column 2 and choose the correct option column 1 tinofora members of tinofora show bioluminescence so a matches with 3 echinodermata in echinoderms water vascular system is present so b matches with 1 mollusca in mollusca a file like rasping organ is present in the mouth known as radula so c matches with 2 arthropoda arthropods are characterized by presence of chitinous exoskeleton and jointed appendages so jointed appendages is feature of arthropoda d matches with fourth let's see this combination is given in which option a with 
B with 1, C with 2, D with 4. This is given in option number 4 and this is correct answer to our question. Proceeding to the next question. Match column 1 with column 2 and choose the correct option. Column 1 A vertebrosternal ribs. Vertebrosternal ribs are true ribs. First 7 pairs of ribs are true ribs and they are 14 in number. So A matches with 2. Sternum. Sternum is a flat bone on the ventral midline of thorax. So B matches with 1. Pectoral girdle. In pectoral girdle, glenoid cavity is present. Glenoid cavity is present in scapula. Head of humerus articulates with glenoid cavity of a scapula to form shoulder joint which is a type of ball and socket joint and scapula is part of pectoral girdle. In pectoral girdle two halves are present and in each half two bones are present one is a scapula and another is clavicle which is also known as collarbone. So C matches with fourth Pelvic girdle, in pelvic girdle acetabulum is present. Acetabulum is formed by ileum, ischium and pubis. So D matches with 3. Let's see this combination is given in which option? A with 2, B with 1, C with 4, D with 3. This is given in option number 4 and correct answer to this question is option 4. Proceeding to the next question. Question states that which of the following is a set of secondary metabolites produced by plants for defense and the options given are first option strychnine and fructose. Strychnine is produced by plants for defense action and it is secondary metabolite as well but fructose is a primary metabolite so this cannot be a correct answer. Second option nicotine and tyrosine. Nicotine is a secondary metabolite and produced by plant for the defense action but tyrosine is an amino acid. And it is a primary metabolite, so it cannot be a correct answer. Third option, ricin and glucose. Ricin is a secondary metabolite and glucose is a primary metabolite, so this cannot be a correct answer. Fourth option, caffeine and nicotine. Both are secondary metabolites and produced by plants for defense action. So correct answer to this question is option number D.